Welcome back. As we said in module one, it's all about you. In lesson one, we discussed focus and how important that was. Now in lesson two, we're going to move on towards taking action. So what we're going to talk about is your passions, strategy, action, and review. So we're going to roll this all up to show you how this all formates itself for you to be able to take action and to move forward on that focus as we discussed in lesson one. Now, the first thing we want you to be able to do is to identify a burning desire. Again, it can't be a want, it's got to be a need. It needs to be a mission. In fact, back in Harvard many years ago, they did a study about people who were either going to earn money or make a mission. They had a choice and they did over 1,500 students in that study. Those were all business students at Harvard and what they found at the end was 250 people, 20 years later, 250 people of the 1,500 were people who chose to be mission-oriented versus money-oriented. And 199 millionaires were created out of the whole group. 195 of those millionaires came from the mission-oriented group where there was only 250 people. Only five or four or five millionaires came from the people who were chasing money. So it's about a burning desire. You have to be definite in that purpose, okay? This is a lifelong event. Another important aspect of this is your why. Why are you doing what you're doing? What's your purpose? What's your mission? You should get this down on paper. You should write this. It's not going to be easy. You need to take the time. You need to classify your why. This is what's going to drive you in life. That's where your focus is going to be directed. And it's going to require a persistent activity. Too many people seem to think that there is something called get rich quick or to make your money very fast. All people see at the end of success is they see the success. They never saw all the hard work, the effort, all the misery, pain, and sacrifice that went into that success. No such thing as an overnight success. Okay? So this is all part of a thought process. Now, this is a big picture overview that we're discussing right here, right now. We're going to get more specific as we move on. But what happens here is that this gives you a beginning, a middle, and an end. You need to understand in your strategy the big picture. What does the beginning look like? What's the middle look like? Where am I going? What's the end look like? Now, tactics are often mistaken for strategy. They're not. Tactics are the daily activities that you take that will ultimately make up the strategic approach. And you need to be flexible. Too many people make, if they do make a strategy, very few do, but if they do make a strategy, sometimes it gets very rigid and they won't make adjustments, okay, mid-course. And of course, you just can't do that. You can't be inflexible. You have to understand how failure fits in and you have to understand how you can make changes. Now, moving forward in your strategy, it's going to be daily, weekly, monthly, also annually, three years and five years. This is where we discussed in lesson one having a journal briefly. This is where we're going to discuss it a little more. Writing reinforces your thinking. So when you put things on paper, you reinforce that thought process in your mind. So you want to record your progress, both positive and negative. You don't want to just simply put down the good things. You also want to be accountable to yourself and fully responsible for the results. So therefore, journaling is a major thing you need to be doing each day. Now, you don't need to spend a, long, a lot of time journaling. You could do five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day. The idea is to get down on paper what happened, how it happened, and how it affected you. Now, responsibility is a massive part of this because you basically are an action magnet. You can't wait on others, and you can't sit back and wait for people to bring you where you want to go. You have to get ahead and stay active on your own. And little steps make big differences. So let's look at it here in, 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 in uh, our little design. Okay, you need to take adjustments and you need to identify where you're going, what you're going to get done. You need to reset all the time because results are results. Good, great, bad, ugly. But you need to identify the positives and eliminate the negatives. And then you need to reset, start over, and adjust. And then reinforcement comes because you're willing to constantly tell yourself what 
the good things are, and you got to have that positive self-talk. Too many people are negative. You know, it's it's very easy to get down on yourself. It's very easy to listen to other people. It's very easy to lose a thought process because you listen around you too much. It's white noise. You don't want to do that. So you want to follow through and follow up. I can't speak to you more importantly about following up. So I want to give you this little sample here. Wayne Gretzky, for those of you who are hockey fans, Wayne Gretzky is probably one of the greatest athletes ever because he holds the records of scoring in his sport. And no sport is there a person who is so far separated in the history of the scoring in that sport. So Gretzky was different. Gretzky had a counterintuitive thought process. And he said, some people skate to the puck. I skate to where the puck is going to be. And because of that ability to see where the puck was going to be, Wayne Gretzky became the greatest scorer in hockey history. And still, to this day, no one's even close to touching him. So when your focus is clear, your results will be assured. But you need to go where the puck is going to be. You can't keep going where the puck is because that's where everybody else goes. Everybody chases the puck. You need to go where the puck is going to squirt out and you'll be the only person there. So here's the situation. Your focus needs to be counterintuitive, commonly referred to as outside the box. But outside the box is much bigger than people think it is. Outside the box is getting beyond conformity. It's becoming who you are specifically because you're a unique person. And this has everything to do with how to attract money. It has everything to do with you stepping out and differentiating yourself from everybody else. Again, when your focus is clear, your results will be assured. So you need to get outside the box. You need to start moving where the puck is going to be. And lastly, I want you to be committed to journaling. That's the thing that's going to bring you into this pathway. We're going to help you. We're going to create the workshops for you. We're going to create the workbooks. We're going to create all that for you. So you just need to follow through. You need to take accountability, responsibility, and follow through. Do your journaling.